Hello everyone and welcome back to another LEGO Beyblade review. Today we will be reviewing an absolute powerhouse of a Beyblade, Infernal Astro Zero Banshee. This is a left spinning defense type and it is such an amazing layer and disc and it's just such a good Beyblade. So let's take a look at all the parts. So first up we of course have the uh, chip. This is the Astro chip and unlike other chips this is actually completely filled like we have all of the bottom pieces filled the top pieces are filled making it the heaviest chip in the game now there is one drawback to this chip and that's that it is a uh, left spin and while that isn't horrible that means you can't put it on right spin chips and there's currently only two uh left spin bases those are of course the surge layer base and the scythe layer base so that's kind of a drawback, but either way, it's still a really good chip. And the layer base is called Infernal, and this layer base is very interesting, but still extremely good. It's thick, it's heavy, it looks really cool, it's even better with like the chip. It's just such a good chip to a uh, layer base combo. And also, it's a left spin defense type, which is usually better than right spin defense type, so you could... um spin steel and hopefully win with life after death but i mean you never know but either way such a good layer base next up the disc is zero and zero is a very good disc it really looks a lot like the uh layer when you look at it closely like it looks a lot like the layer it is it's just really good disc really good disc for, for defense and stamina and it's just it's a good core disc. <laughs> I didn't need to make that more complicated than it was, but finally we have the Banshee driver, and just just want to say for context, I came up with the name um, from a <laughs> from a Hasbro exclusive Hypersphere driver. It was like a um, it was kind of like sharp. Um, if, if I go get it right now, then you'll tell. Here's the driver. Here's the real Banshee driver. Yeah, that's kind of where I got the name from, but. Um, yeah, that is the combo, um, uh, Infernal Astro, I'm saying a lot, sorry, but Infernal Astro, Zero, Banshee. Hopefully this combo is really good. Also, one thing I'd like to mention is that I put Putty underneath all of the layer bases just to increase the burst resistance, because there's just way too many bursts, and I just don't, I don't want that many, like, that's just kind of like... You know, want to see some ring outs, you want to see some spin outs, you want to see other things, not just bursts. So, uh, yeah, let's get to the battles. All right, so we're at the stadium. Let's start with the test launch. All right, so it is very calm, like defense types go. And it looks pretty darn promising, so that's nice. Let's start off with um, the best defense type, uh, Fang Phantom. Just kidding, it's the worst. Like, it's not a bad baby. It might be good for attack, but it's just not good for defense. But it does look really cool. And something that something so weird is that I entered this into a contest, and the contest technically hasn't ended. Yet. Oh, did it? Wait, did it lose or did it win? Because, like, okay, so Phantom went around the stadium and did a weird thing. But, ooh, that's, that's weird. I'll call it a draw. We're going to do uh, one more battle. All right, here we go. Pro tip, if um, your base ever gets stuck on your launcher, smack the top of it. It works fairly frequently. I like these. I really do like these head-on collisions that are happening right now. Ah, oh, it lost. Okay, I guess the, um, unsurprisingly, the Banshee driver. The Life After Death, it's not... It does, it's non-existent. I'm gonna admit it, but... Let's be honest, if it had a good life after death, it would probably lose if it had something like Baron. Great transition. Let's do Mushroom. Oh yeah, it's called Mushroom now. Let's do Mushroom. Baron Driver. I mean, even with the putty, it still bursts. That's sad. I, all right, enough of him. Barbarian's just such... I keep on calling it that. It's called Mushroom. I completely forgot to change the name. Yeah, but Mushroom is like such a like niche Beyblade. Okay, for real this time, let's test it out against the real... Current best defense type. Come on, why can't you get off my launcher, dude? Alright, go shoot. Go shoot. I'm trying to do this all in one take so there's less editing. Because I, I don't feel like editing. I'm, I'm really lazy today. I have a feeling that, um... 
Okay, so Astro's um definitely heavier, but Barbarian had. I can keep doing things. Yeah, he has the better shape. Uh, that was a draw. Let's try that one more time. Anyways, like I was saying, um, Tars has a better uh has a better shape, but Astro's heavier, and also. Ooh, that was a weird hit. I, but I think Astro has like, yeah. It's, it's, that was a weird match. It's kind of a weird matchup. Let's just go right to, um, let's do Reaper. Reaper. Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> the weight difference is crazy. One of them has zero, really heavy disc. And one of them has 12, the lightest disc. Which wants you first, because you have more stamina. Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess this Beyblade just isn't a very good less than attack type. Alright, speaking of attack types, um, let's use Steam Exo. Man, Steam Exo. It's honestly a pretty solid Beyblade. Like, I just did the review. Y'all saw it. Um, it's a pretty solid Beyblade, I'd say. Ah, oh, that was a weak launch, weak launch. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really like um, Steam Exo's uh, design. I definitely prefer it over Cybers. Just, again, really bad shape for an attack type uh, Cyber was. Yeah, there we go. Rush launch, rush launch. Yeah, I think we know who's going to win. Yep. Alright, so... Um, I'd say that so far, Astro's a fairly solid Beyblade. Not the best, but definitely a lot better than, um, like, I don't know. <laughs> Man, I, my launchers are not having it today. Like, why? Alright, 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. I'm in the stadium. There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just some crazy attacks. The end. I think we know who's gonna win. Yep. All right. Yo, this Beyblade's really good. All right. Final battle. I love this Beyblade Hydra. It looks so nice while spinning, but the thing is, it looks so ugly while spinning in real life. It's like weird gray color, and there's like some blue on there. It's just such a bizarre. Ooh, a burst. All right, did not expect that. I don't think I added enough putty onto the bottom, but you know what? That's totally fine. Like, we still had, like, more ring outs and whatnot. Skateboards look very similar while spinning in real life. Like, they're gray. Because <laughs> that's so similar. That was a big hit. Oh, another burst? I don't think I added enough putty. Um, let me add like a small little piece onto there and let's do one more battle against these two. This is actually a really cool matchup. All right, sorry if this is boring because I don't want to edit this video. I don't feel like it. Three, two, one, go two. There we go. Also, there's a shiny of uh, five disc on him now because you know what? It looks better. As shiny five disc shit. Oh my god, dude, are you kidding? <laughs> I guess this Beyblade just has horrible burst resistance. Like, there's no denying it. It's just bad. Um, so I guess that concludes our review of Astro. Overall, it's a pretty solid Beyblade. I wouldn't say it's the best. I'd say that um Taurus is still better. But you know what? This is still a pretty good option, and it has the current heaviest chip. So if you like that video, comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you want, and I'll see you in the next video.